Hello, today we're looking at making a hinged box so the lid will be able to flip up. So let's jump right in. We're going to start with a sketch here on this top plane. And this is going to actually be the bottom of our box. So I'm hiding some things. We've done a couple um, of these by now, so hopefully some of this looks familiar. Um, I've already put in some variables over here, as you can see. These can be any size you like, the height, width, and um, and also the thickness of the material here. So um, let's put this one in as width and the other one here we are going to do length. And so now we're going to build all our little tabs in here. But first I want to do some center lines here so that I can reflect things and make this go a little faster. So putting some lines in there and then I'm selecting these and making them construction lines. So they're dashed, so they're not really part of the actual design here. And I'm going to start making some tabs. I like the size of that one. And I want to draw another one over here. And I want just two tabs, I have two tabs on this one here it's going to look good to me. I'm going to dimension just one of these, put it right there. That should be the thickness. And now I'm going to set all these other ones to be equal there, so that's also the same. All right, now to make this go faster and symmetrical, I'm going to use the mirror tool, mirroring over this line, and I want to select those parts. That looks pretty good. And now I'm going to, again, reflect over the center line to get a mirror image on the bottom. And there we go. We got the sides going there, or top and bottom, excuse me, of our piece here. And I just want one of these right here. So I'm going to just do that on the bottom side. And again, setting this to be equal so that it's even. Come on. There you go. Uh, and then, again, reflecting everything. And those pieces are flipping over there. And now I'm going to mirror again from left to right here. And now I got that. All right. So now I got my bottom piece there. And I'm going to extrude that. And I'm going to extrude that with the thickness of our piece there. All right, looking good. Now that's the bottom. You can go back and play with that all you like. All you got to do is double click on this. And if you want to change something, maybe I want to move these parts over here. I didn't like that corner, maybe. It's really up to you. All right, and you know, that looks a little funny too. I want to change that too. Let's move this piece a little closer over here. So next we're going to build the front and the back of our box. Um, so let's click on the front, front view. All right. We're going to say sketch on this surface right there. And you can see it's that one right there. Uh, and we want to next use these corner points right there. And we will stop using that for a moment. And now I want to hide this for a second so I don't have to worry about looking at that so I don't get confused by anything. Oop, that's not right. Drawing a rectangle now. And this rectangle should have a height of the variable we've already selected there being height. There we go. All right. All right. And let's put the side tabs on this right now also. Um, so we will put a center line so we can reflect this in a moment again. All right. and making that construction really fast since we've built some boxes in the past here. And I'm liking this right there. And I'm going to make another one here. Feel free to do these in some of the ways we've done in the past. I'm doing this in the fast mode just because I don't really 
want to spend the time going over things we've talked about in the past already. So let's dimension this, and we'll say this should be thickness. You can also use rectangular pattern on this to create all these so they're nice and a little more organized and the same size and everything and equal spacing. But you can also just play around with them a little bit and see what you like. All right, so let's mirror this now. Do, 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 moving fast, all right. And I'm reflecting that over that surface. All right. All right. So now let's extrude this. I'm going to extrude that and this. And we're going to go thickness. And let's unhide this other part so we can see which way we're going. That looks pretty good, right? They're overlapping there. And this should be on new, right? We don't want to add that to our old piece. Looking good. All right. And then let's do a um, linear pattern on this as well. Actually, let's do the Boolean first. We'll do our Boolean. We're going to say subtract. Tool is this piece. Target is the piece we want to cut off because we want to cut these tabs off the bottom here. And we're going to say keep tools. All right, that's looking pretty good. All right. Now we want to do our rectangular pattern. We want to pattern that in this direction. And we want to flip that the other way. That should be... Um, that width. And you'll notice when we have that, it's going to go slightly too far. That's because it's patterning from this surface to this outside surface. So if we have to now subtract the thickness to get it back to the just right spot. So we say minus thickness. And bingo, we're in the right spot now. All right, we're looking pretty good there. So we got the front and the back of our box here. And I'm going to end the video there, and we'll do the sides and the lid in the next video. See you soon.